Good evening. Mad Jack Dore has revealed he's making huge strides in his recovery, both physically and mentally, after falling from the Balti Bridge. The Kangaroos defender has penned an open letter saying he's been blessed with a second chance at life. Dougal Beatty reports. Four weeks on since his fall from the Balti Bridge, Majak Dawes says he's on the mend. In an open letter on North Melbourne's website, he wrote, I'm making huge strides with my recovery, both physically and mentally. I've been blessed with a second chance at life. My attitude and outlook towards everything has improved. I hope to be back out there playing in the blue and white stripes soon. The AFL community rallied around the kangaroo star after he was rescued from the Yarra River, suffering a shattered pelvis before Christmas. The incident sparked debate around improving mental health of players in the AFL. The 27-year-old says he's grateful to those who've reached out. I just wanted to thank everyone for their love and support over the past month. The circumstances surrounding my incident have been extremely challenging for my family, friends and anyone that knows me. But just how long before Majak Dor pulls on the boots again remains unclear. He's since undergone surgery to repair his broken pelvis, the injury itself a significant physical setback. Whenever he makes his return, it'll be with the full embrace of the football community. Dougal Beatty. Nine News. Good evening. North Melbourne's Mad Jack Dor is vowing to make the most of his second chance at life after surviving a plunge from the Balti Bridge. The 27-year-old has revealed he's targeting a return to AFL. Tom Brown has details from North Melbourne's headquarters this evening. And Tom, Mad Jack is making big strides in his recovery. Mitch, that's right, huge strides. In Majak's own words, huge strides, both mentally and physically. Despite those horrific injuries a month ago, Majak's aiming for an AFL return as soon as this year, an AFL return. Now, North have emphasised there's no pressure, no expectation, no timeline. It's all about Majak's mental and physical well-being. But I understand, Peter, critically and luckily, miraculously almost, it was a clean break, which could pave the way for one of football's most remarkable comeback stories. Majak Dawes' plunge off the Balti and miraculous survival came as a shock. Now he's given an insight into how he's getting his life back on track, using an open letter to thank his fans for their love and support. Just four weeks after attempting to take his own life, Dawes says he's been blessed with a second chance. The circumstances surrounding my incident have been extremely challenging for my family, friends and anyone that knows me for that matter. My attitude and outlook towards everything has improved. Dor suffered multiple fractures in the fall requiring surgery. Majak sustained very serious injuries to his hips and pelvic region. But in a pointer to his determination to return, the Roostar says he hopes to be back out there playing in the blue and white stripes soon. And Mitch, in a further pointer to the e insight, if you like, into that recovery tonight, I'm told Majak's still in hospital but walking now with the assistance of a frame and at least physically he hopes to be walking on his own, miraculously, in about eight weeks' time. Mitch?